back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. This was voted by you guys to do and also requested in the Never Have I Ever video. I'm doing the whole eye look using the new Kathleen Lights ColourPop palette and this shit is so good. I love this palette. It's gonna go in my favorites for this month for sure. With all of that said, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. I'm gonna take the heart shape tip and medium, medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my eyeshadow base. I'm just taking my Dose of Colors Flat Concealer Brush and I like to run that right under the brow. I always do this when I want like a super sharp, clean look, which is kind of what we're going for in today's look. So I took a poll on IG Stories and I asked you guys what makeup look you guys wanted me to film today. And I was pretty surprised because the two options were this look and the sparkly green look. I thought, you know, for sure that sparkly green look because, you know, I'm always doing like warm tone looks and they always want something different, but you guys don't actually want something different, do you? You want those warm tone sparkly rose gold looks. Don't lie. So now I'm just taking a little bit of my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm going to set the concealer so that it's not all sticky and it dries nice and matte and powdery. That's going to make everything easier to blend. I usually skip this part, but I thought I'd add it because it's always the same here. Sometimes I'll use like a bone colored eyeshadow, which I like to use for the brow bone highlight. I still might do that after. This is just to get everything mattified here. This whole eyeshadow look I did using, for the most part, the Kathleen Lights ColourPop Dream Street palette really pretty the tones in here i really like the blues the warm tones the matte colors like i said i'm going to use a bone colored eyeshadow to highlight the brow bone and there's not really one in here so i'm going to use mac brulee on the brow bone here mac brulee is going to make me change my mind real quick it's not really showing up as much as i need it to you know what does give it to me as a brow bone highlight kat von d matte metals palette i love bone so i'm going to use bone <laughs> Putting it on the high points and then I'm gonna blend it out. Feather it out on the edges. And now that we've highlighted the brow bone, I'm just kind of dragging it downwards. It blends nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the Dream Street palette and the first color I'm gonna be taking is Stardust from the palette. It's this light orange shade. And I'm using my MAC 286 brush. I've really been liking this brush. And we're gonna apply that in the upper crease. And I'm taking it all the way down too downtown and we're really just going to keep building this color until we have a nice gradient into that brow bone highlight oh yes i love this mac brush it's um i don't know what it is about it but it just blends everything so nice and easy all right next we're taking this shade right over here using the same brush i'm going to apply that into the crease and I like to tilt my head and look down into a mirror so that I could really see my eye socket shape and follow that. This technique helps, especially if you have a hard time um, finding your crease. I'm also gonna let that go onto the outer V too as well. This color definitely picks up more like rosy, pinky than it looks in the pan. In the pan, it looks more of like, um, kind of like a sienna type color, but then once you apply it, it definitely is a little bit more on the pinky side, which I like. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and blend out those edges. So now that we're all smoked the fuck out, we're gonna go into the deep shade, Mooney. First, we're gonna pack it onto the outer corner of the eye. Give a little depth over here in this area. I'm just packing it on with a pencil brush first and then I'll use a blending brush to blend it out. I'm also gonna run that on the upper lash line, just across the lid a little bit into the lashes there. Kind of hitting it at a diagonal. Gonna give you that sultry look. So how was your Christmas or how are your holidays? I am uh, officially done eating bad food. <laughs> yeah, right. I always say that. I ate so much that this morning I woke up and my stomach was like hard as a rock bloated, like pretty bad. It caught up to me. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. It's pretty bad over here on my end, as far as the bloat. You know, you just can't feel bad. You just, the holidays, you should just enjoy and eat and spend time with your family, have a good time, you know? 
We had a really good Christmas. I spent time with my dad, went to Katie's house also, spent time with Steven's family. Steven and I baked pies for the first time ever from scratch, okay? I'm very proud. I'm gonna say it 500,000 times because making the dough for that pie was not easy. You think it'd be like, just follow the directions and you're good, but no, it's a feeling. You have to feel the dough. Be one with the dough or else your crust is gonna come out like shit. And it took us a few times to get it right, but then when we did, we were like, yes. Okay, we're getting smoky over here. So basically, I'm just building it up, and then as I build it, as I build it, I'm taking it into the inner corner as well, just deepening up the socket right into the crease with whatever's left over on the brush, but you want the, the majority of the depth to be on the outer. Taking it downtown over here too. And then when there's nothing really left, I'll feather out the edges here. Now we've done all the blending and all that stuff. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the lid. And I'm gonna carve the lid out because it's okay if you make it messy when you're blending it, as long as you keep most of it in the crease because then we're gonna take concealer and just clean it up. Taking medium again on the same little concealer brush that we were using earlier. Look down, really get a feel of where your crease is and then just clean up the lid. And I start like low so I don't mess up. And then I'll make my way to the crease little by little. I find that like holding the brush and then dragging down helps me get a better line. I don't know what that does to my actual eyelid space. It probably makes it wrinkly AF faster, but you know, here we are. Like everything they tell you in skincare is don't tug on your skin. <laughs> look at this eyelid, do you see? Makes it look clean. So now I'm just taking a paper towel and cleaning off that concealer brush that we just used. And I'm gonna use the same brush for the lid color. And that lid color is gonna be this one right here. It's so pretty. Shooting star, boom. Looks so like wet, shimmery, metallic. And I believe I did actually spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus to just pump it up even more. I like to do that when I want it to be even more like a mixed wet metal. I love this color. It also helps to wet your brush when you get to like the crease right here because it gives you a really nice precise application of the eyeshadow opposed to it being like all powdery. Kind of makes it more of like, um, it just glides on and you want a precise line up there. So wet the brush and then really get up here into this crease. I love it. Ooh. This is also the look that I was wearing in the Never Have I Ever video. You guys all requested in the comments that I do this look. I love these tones. Oh, that lid color, Kathleen. Even Harper's digging it. And then once you get to this area, you hit it with more of like a, a pat, you know? Because you don't want a harsh line. You want to hit it with a, a gradient. So you just pat it into the matte colors on the outer corners. And you could also go back into that more mm, warm tone shade, the one that we used in the crease, that like ready shade. And you could even pat it along the edge as well, just to have a nice gradient from the dark brown to the more ready color to the rose gold color. You can hit that on the lower lash line here, just like a little. Honestly, truly, Kathleen Lights, that lid shadow, oh. I know I said it already, but she killed it, okay? Murdered it. Murdered. All right, so before I finish the eyes, I'm gonna move on to my foundation because I do my lower lash line and I wanna, you know the drill. So I'm gonna be using the new NARS foundation. This is my new favorite foundation right now. I'm mixing Syracuse and Barcelona. Somebody told me there's a shade in between, but these work so good mixed together for me, so I'm just doing that. This is the new Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I've been wearing this in all my makeup photos lately, and it is like flawless. It has lasted all day, and it just like covers everything. So nice. And I've been applying it with this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush. So I just have it on my little dish, my mixture here. I used a brush recently because I was like, I'm trying to hurry up with my makeup. Sometimes we spend a lot of time pouncing with our beauty blender. We don't have a lot of time to pounce certain days. So I was like, let me just try this brush. And I ended up really loving it. It just buffs everything in so nice and quickly. So I do like a nice thin layer, really get it into the skin. And then I'll go back in and really just like press the foundation into the skin 
where I want more coverage. Always have to make sure to take this color down my neck because my shoulders are dark, but my face and neck are like really light. So I've got to really match it. Now we're moving on to concealer. I love to always mix these two. This is the Becca Luminous and Beige. Always apply that one first. This one I like to apply closer to the lash line because I feel like it's more hydrating so it doesn't settle into my fine lines as much as the, sh I was gonna call it the Chart. God, it's so hard for me to say, Tarte Shape Tape. I love the Tarte Shape Tape for like any hollowness. It's like the best, but it's a little dry for like right under my eyes. So what I do is I apply this first closer in those areas. And then I like to use tan sand because it has a little bit more of a warmer undertone and it cancels out any like hollow area. So I just plop a little bit of that right there. And it's also a good transition shade from my concealer to my foundation. For that, I am gonna take a beauty sponge and this is Elsie Cosmetics. I love the little point because it gets right up into the tear duct there. And then the point also helps like the edge of your shadow here. And then I'll just take my foundation brush with whatever's left over and stipple the edges to make sure it's like seamless. I'm gonna take a little bit of the medium shape tape and I'm gonna apply that down the bridge of the nose. Bring the highlights back in the face, boom. And then the forehead. And then of course, like right here, I have a little shadow. So I'm gonna hit that one time, the chin, the cupid's bow. Living that full coverage life today. And I'm gonna blend the bridge of the nose last. Squish this little guy. The reason I do the bridge of the nose last is because I want to keep the shape straight. And if I let it set just a second longer than the rest, it'll keep the straight shape instead of blending out all over the place. You don't want to let it sit there for too long, but just it's the last thing I blend out. Time to set the under eyes. What I like to do first, and this is something Glam Tech Steven taught me, is take a little bit of C5 uh, Studio Fix. Make sure you blend all the creases out before you put any powder. Uh, I'm gonna shoot like this, like a crazy person. I'm gonna take a little bit of that C5 powder, just a tiny bit, and place it right under the eye first before I apply any um, translucent powder. I just go with it, because he told me. And then I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and apply that on the under eyes. And just whatever's left over, I get it on the apples of the cheeks. And then just take a small powder brush and we're just gonna hit the center of the face with the translucent powder as well, just so it mattifies. And just right here. All right, so now for my highlight, I'm about to use Mirame. This has a little bit more of a rosy gold undertone, so I'm gonna use our Desi Katie Mirame highlight. I'm gonna start with the bridge of my nose. Keep with the tones. Oof. Oof. I'm so like in love with our highlights. I love them so much. Oh, it just gives you such a glow from within. Then I'm gonna put that on the bridge of the nose too. Keep it to and then switching brushes, we're gonna take the highlighting brush, turn your cheek to the side to really see what's going on here. I'm gonna be using the Victoria Beckham Bronzer in Java Sun. This is with Estee Lauder. I'm gonna use the Smith 133 brush. For blush, I'm gonna be using this Bobbi Brown Slopes blush. I'm just gonna take a MAC 116 and apply that. This is a nice like rosy color. Okay pues, so we're done with the face. Now let's go ahead and finish the lower lash line. Let me dust off a little of this powder. We're kinda gonna do, you know, the lower lash line the same as we always do, just mimicking the crease. I'm gonna use this color first, apply that all over this really warm tone color. And I'm gonna let it like really be heavy out here and then take it up to the, the winged out shadow. Take a blending brush and smoke it out. And then you just gotta take the blending brush and smoke it up and out. So now we've really smoked out that lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take the dark brown shade here and we're gonna just put that on the outer part of the lower lash line and define it. I love this makeup look, you guys. I love it. I love that it's just this palette. 
This dark brown does have like a little fallout, I will say. So just like make sure to tap. And I'm just using a angled brush from Target. This is a bada bing bada boom Sony Kashuk, I believe, yeah. We're gonna take a pencil brush and then I'm gonna go into this shade right over here called Spark. And this is gonna be my inner corner highlight. Oh boy. So I'm just gonna apply a little coat of mascara. This is my MAC mascara. This is the um, extended play. This eyeliner is really good. I've been using the Mr. Right uh, by The Bomb Cosmetics black liner. I'm gonna put that in my waterline. And then also make sure you put it on the upper waterline. There's like nothing worse than getting a uh, liner on your contact, which I just did. I'm taking these Lily Lashes. These are some of my favorite lashes recently. I've been wearing them a lot. These are the Makeup by Samuel collab with Lily Lashes. They're just like the perfect fluttery, wispy lash and then they uh, flare out the outer corner. So it gives you that nice wing look. What I like to do when applying lashes is I need to look down into a mirror and I try to just get the lash right on my lash line. All right, and the last step of this look is the lips. I'm gonna be using NYX Abu Dhabi and I didn't really use a lip liner. I kind of just put it on really quick. And that is it. That's the finished makeup look, guys. We're all done. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll probably still end up filming that green sparkly look because I loved it. Now, any requests you guys have, leave them in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ah, uh, is ready. Track discrepancy going on up here somewhere. <laughs> I set a brush down for two seconds and it's gone forever. Mm -hmm. Let me check my teeth really quick.